The following program contains no firearms, no scenes of hunting, no violence and no cruelty to animals. We do not promote hunting. All guns shown in this program are compressed by spring, gas piston or PCP. Do not require a firearm license. The program is aimed to be informative, entertaining and sportive. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and today's video is going to be another review video of a new air rifle on our channel. So all these days I have been making reviews of only Indian made air rifles. So this is the first time I am just going to make a review of a new air rifle which is not made in India. So this is a budget air rifle from Diana Airguns. It's the Diana Storm Rider Gen 3 regulated air rifle which comes under a very small budget something around 45,000 or something of MRP price in India. Uh, it's a very good air rifle like sleek looking, slim, uh, very lightweight air rifle. So we are going to do the unboxing of this air rifle right now. Take a look at the things which comes with the air rifle, how the air rifle is packed and so on. And we will take a look at the features of the air rifle and then fix the scope on the air rifle, take it down range, test it at different ranges and see how the accuracy of this air rifle is. So let's not waste time, let's get into the video straight away. So we will start the unboxing of this air rifle and see what all comes with this air rifle when it is bought as new. So it comes in a cardboard case which has a foam padding on the top. So I will just keep it aside and there you can see the air rifle straight away like I will show it over to you guys. Here you have it. So I will just post a close up video of the air rifle how it is packed and so on. Beautiful looking air rifle. It has a user manual inside which gives all information about the air rifle. So I'll just keep it aside, we'll have to read it and then the air rifle comes with a supplied in fill probe for the gun and which has a quick fill thruster at the bottom and then you have an end cap with that. So this air rifle comes with a suppressor fitted on it. So if you don't want to use a suppressor on it, you just can remove the suppressor and in order to protect the thread, you just can use this end cap on that and leave it away. So next is the magazine of this air rifle. This is a multi-shot air rifle uh, which has a very tiny magazine, nine shot magazine. Uh, the loading of the magazine is little different. I will show you separately in a small clip. Uh, so I will keep the magazine aside. And then you have a full o-ring kit for the air rifle. So you have a full replacement o-ring kit. So in case you find any leakage or something as days goes on, like you can replace it by yourself. You have the extra o-ring kit for this air rifle. And then you have the main parts, the rifle, the beautiful looking Dyna Storm Rider Gen 3 air rifle comes with open sights actually uh, has a plastic front sight and a plastic uh, rear sight so you can use it in open sights also and Gen 3 Dyna comes with the extra barrel band in the front this is the first time I am seeing a barrel band in the front actually uh, still today I haven't seen a Dyna the previous generation of Dyna air rifles doesn't have a barrel band in the front only this barrel band will be there and comes with a fitted small suppressor over here Beautiful looking one, a bolt action air rifle. So we will take a close up look at the air rifles, the features of it right away. So we will take a detailed look at the uh, specification and uh, features of this air rifle right now. So at first, the first and foremost thing I just want to mention it over to you. This is a very very slim and lightweight air rifle. The profile of this air rifle is very slim. I hope you can see it over here. Fits small hands very easily. Even for junior shooters, this air rifle will be a great choice for sure. So comes with a wooden stock. Uh, with the very slim profile pistol grip which has checkering in the front and the pistol grip uh, slim profile stock uh, well made wooden stock over here has a rubber recoil pad at the back this air rifle weighs around 2.3 kg just in this case like with the open sights this weighs only around 2.3 kg of weight 5, 5 pounds of weight so very lightweight air rifle even junior shooters can shoot it very easily and starting from the front we have a threaded suppressor in the front which can be removed and fitted as per our need actually. So this does a good job of hushing the sound. Behind that we have a front sight which is made of plastic. I mean like it's not so cheap plastic actually it's hard and thick. Has a plastic front sight and a plastic rear sight. The rear sight is adjustable for windage and elevation. You just can't uh, directly adjust it with your hands like you just need a small screwdriver or something to adjust the rear sight over here. So this rear sight has to be removed when you are going to fit a scope because I tried uh, fitting scope on a Storm Raider like this rear sight was making a small problem. So I had to remove this rear sight and fit the scope right now. So now I have fitted a scope on the top of the gun. I have removed the rear sight and fitted a scope on the top. The scope I have fitted is one of my favorite scope, the Hawk Vantage 4 to 12 by 40 magnification scope with a front focus, the AO adjustable objective scope. 
this is a very uh, lightweight and a very clear scope which will suit the profile of the gun so it's a very super combination i would say so we will take a look at the other features of the gun so this gun has a 19 inch barrel uh, it has a rifled 19 inch barrel i don't know like which pellets these barrels are gonna suit so i bought like uh, four of my favorite pellets we will test in the accuracy testing and behind that we have the action block of this gun this gun has a bolt action uh, a very slim and nice bolt action actually has uh, two o-rings on the bolt uh, like gives a good grip uh, loads very smooth and nice and this gun uh, can be used with a single shot tray and a multi shot magazine they come supplied with a single shot tray and the multi shot magazine so the magazine is nine shots it has a tiny magazine over here uh, it's nine shots of capacity the loading of the magazine is little bit tricky so i'll just show you how the magazine is loaded for loading the magazine you just open the plastic cap on the top and uh, rotate it anti-clockwise till it reaches the end and you can't place a pellet from the top so you turn the magazine upside down and place a pellet skirt first you just have to insert a pellet skirt first from the back keep your hand so that the pellet doesn't fall off when you invert the magazine invert the magazine and then rotate the plastic cap and drop the pellets one by one again uh, till you fill all the spaces actually you can ho you can load up to nine shots in the magazine in the magazine and the single shot tray has uh, magnets at the bottom which fits onto the magnet on the tray on of the rifle actually the action block of the rifle like slides very smooth works very smooth and it's a very good working magazine and single shot tray so below the uh, action block we have the reservoir of this gun the reservoir of the gun is like 100 cc it's a very fairly small reservoir uh, i don't know the number of shots we are going to get out of this gun we'll check it while we are shooting the accuracy testing uh, the barrel and the reservoir is held with two barrel bands. The Gen 3 Storm Rider has two barrel bands. The extra barrel band is the one which is front, fitted on the front. I hope this will help in getting a bit more accuracy. And it has a picatinny rail at the bottom to fit your bipod. So if you want to fit a bipod on the gun, you don't have to drill the beautiful stock of this gun. You just can fit a bipod exactly on the picatinny mount which is supplied uh, with the barrel band over here. And in the front you have a manometer which shows the available pressure of the gun and behind that we have the fill port of the gun which is covered by a plastic dust cap the plastic dust cap is very feeble i felt it to be very feeble like you can't uh, handle it roughly maybe it might break often because it feels to be very uh, smooth and soft actually so it's better to handle it very carefully so inside the fill port you just insert your fill probe which is supplied with the gun which comes with a quick fill froster fitting this is the added advantage coming back to the gun like we have the trigger of the gun so the trigger of the dyna storm raid is a two-stage adjustable trigger there is two adjustment screws on the trigger uh, i tried adjusting them that but not too much actually i couldn't uh, find a sweet spot of the trigger still i'm uh, getting used with the trigger which came from the factory so i'm going to load the gun just to show you the trigger how it works so the gun has a first stage has a good first stage stops stops very crisp and then needs a bit of effort not so smooth but needs a bit of effort to break in for the second stage but breaks very crisp actually it doesn't uh, lag or like drag back it breaks very crisp so has a good first stage stops and then breaks there is a safety in front of the trigger actually uh, push push kind of a safety you push it to the right the gun is on safe it doesn't fire blocks the trigger from firing and you push it to the left and you see the red mark on the left side which means the gun is ready to go it's uh, the safety is off so it works it works the safety doesn't fail uh, so often so altogether looking at the gun this is a very beautiful and a good looking gun for sure very lightweight very slim uh, has some good features like a single uh, multi-shot air rifle has a small reservoir capacity which can be easily filled with a hand pump so beginners who are getting into the air rifle field can go with this gun for sure so the main part is knowing the accuracy of this gun so we'll get to the accuracy testing right now and know about the accuracy of this gun let's go so here we are at the 25 yard range right now so i'm going to test four different varieties of pellets uh, I'm going to test one slug also. I just want to know if this gun will shoot slug. So we are going to shoot JSP 8.4 grains, 10.34s, H&M Barracuda 10.65 and the G Smith 11 grain slugs. So we will take a 5 shot group at 25 yards and see if uh, they are grouping well. And we will take the best out of that and shoot at 50 yards. And based on the 50 yard group, we will decide whether we will go for 75 or not. So I'm going to shoot the JSP 10.34. 
at first we will take a 5 shot group at uh, 25 yards let's see how it goes okay Okay, just now the group is started to close in. We'll take like one or two more shots just to see if the grouping is good. Okay, one more shot. This is the last shot I'm gonna take. All right. Okay, it's not a great group, but a decent one. Let's move on to the JSP 8.4 grains and see how they group. So I'm gonna shoot the JSB 8.4 grain pellets right now. Uh, loading up the magazine with JSB 8.4 grains, and let's take five shots and see how it goes. All right. I think I have taken five. Let me take one or one more shot. All right. I think uh, I think one more shot is left in the magazine. I'll take that too. Okay, I pulled that shot. Uh, that was my mistake. So the JSP 8.4 seems to perform better than the 10.34s. We'll go with the HN and Barracuda 10.65 and the G Smith 11 grain sucks and find out if they are better than these two let's go so now we are gonna test the h and barracuda 10.65 grains uh, let's see how it performs on this uh, 25 yard range if the barracuda is better than the jsp 10.34s i'll just go with the h and barracudas for the 50 yard range already i have fixed the 8.4s for the 50 yards looking at the group so i'm loading at the H and Barracuda 10.65 grains into the magazine. I'm gonna take five or six shots at 25 yards. Let's go. The gun is loaded. Okay. All the 10.65, I mean like the 10 grain pellets drop about a half or one mil dot. So I'm just gonna hold uh, dead on on the bullseye the group is gonna group a little bit lower no worries all right Okay, so the h and Barracuda 10.65 grain group is done. So the h and Barracuda's 10.65 uh, pellets are tested at 25. Seems to be better than the JSP 10.34. This barrel seems to accept the Barracuda better. So I'm going to try with the slugs now. Uh, G Smooth 11 grain hollow point slugs at 25 yards. I'm going to take like 5 or 6 shots at 25. Let's see if the barrel is going to shoot for the slugs. Let's give it a try at 25 yards. Oops, it goes a long way somewhere. But groups, let's see the grouping. All right, the slug, the slug seems to group, but <laughs> it is way away from the target actually, it's not zeroed. 
I might have to re-zero the gun for you using the slugs. Okay, I think I have taken like 7 shots uh, with the G Smith 11 grain flex. Fairly decent group, not a close group for sure. Uh, out of these, I am satisfied with the H&N Barracuda 10.65 and the JSP 8.4 grains. So we are going to test those two pellets at 50 yards and see how it goes. So based on the 25 yard results, the H&N Barracuda 10.65 and the JSP 8.4s were the best ones. So I am going to take the two and test it at 50 yards. So I have set up a target exactly at 50 yards. I'm going to test the 8.4 grain pellets at first. I haven't seen the holdover or I don't know the holdover for 50 yards. I'm just going to take a rough shot at 50 yards. I mean like I'm going to hold like one mil dot at 50 and see how it goes. And there is a breezy wind from the right to the left. Uh, let's see how it goes. Uh, I'm just going to take a shot at 50 yards. So I'm going to set the parallax to 50. Let's see how it goes. All right. Okay, that's 9 shots at 50 yards. Seems to be a decent performance at 50 because there's a breezy wind. The 8.4 grains can be pushed away by the wind very easily. But still, it was holding up quite well. I had to take a close-up look to find out the group size. Now, we'll go with the 10.65 grains at 50 yards and see how it goes. I'm going to take about maybe the same 9 or 10 shot group at uh, 50 yards and see how it goes. I I think it will drop more than the 8.4 so I am going to hold one more dot of holdover at 50 yards. And this rifle is a bit hole sensitive. Uh, the different way you hold the rifle, the groups tends to move around the target a bit. I am trying to get the right hold for this rifle. Let's see how it goes. Dead on bullseye. Come on, it's like damn accurate. The wind is picking up a bit. Yeah, that's a wind playing around. I think it's about 9 shots right now. So we'll close this as a group. 9 shots with the 10.65 seems a lot more better than the 8.4 grains. I'm happy with the results at 50 yards. Let's take a close up look and see how the group size is there. And I'll try to take a long range shot at 75 or something. Let's go. So we are done with the 50 yard grouping. We found the HN and Barracuda 10.65 to be the very accurate one out of that. So I'm gonna take uh, long range group at uh, exactly 77 yards actually it is like uh, 75 yards from the muzzle of the gun to the target so i'm going to load a magazine of h and n barracuda 10.65 and take a group at 75 yards let's see how the grouping goes uh, and again i don't know the holdover 
I'm just gonna hold about three or four mil dots at 75 and see how it goes. Let's give it a try. All right, I think the group is gonna be. It's a too much of drop, so I'm just gonna hold four mil dots. I'm just gonna leave away the first shot. So let's see how it goes. Exactly on the bullseye. I can see it from here. It's a five shot group. I'm gonna continue five more shots. Okay, this pellet went spiraling into the target. The wind is pushing away the pellets actually. All right. Okay, that's 10 shots at 75 yards. Let's see the size of the group. I hope it would be around two or three inches of size. I hope so. Let's take a close up look and wind up the video. So we have come to the end of the video. We saw the out of the box review of the Dyna Storm Raider Gen 3 regulated air rifle. So this rifle is pretty impressive. It's a very low budget air rifle from Dyna. It's a beginner air rifle for sure. For a beginner air rifle, uh, such a grouping at 50 yards, the H&N Barracuda 10.65 grouping at 60 yards, 10 shot group at 60 yards, uh, sorry 50 yards was very impressive. Actually I was really impressed with that grouping. This particular gun likes the H&N Barracuda 10.65 uh, very much actually. At 25 it was good, 50 I was really impressed and 75 there was a bit of wind playing around, so not much of up and down, only left and right movement that is too because of the on and off wind over here or else the group might have been much tighter at 75 yards too. The barrel of the gun wants to get seasoned a bit actually, uh, needs more pellet to run through the barrel and maybe the accuracy may increase uh, even more. And uh, I'll be coming up with this gun again and again in this uh, video. If I see some improvement of the accuracy in this gun, I'll surely post it up to you guys. I'll get used to this gun. I had to get used to the trigger of the gun, uh, the holding of the gun and so on. So. Once I get used and if I get better results with accuracy, I will post it up to you guys in the near future. So, I hope I have delivered the message in the right way uh, which you are all expecting. And I uh, will come up with the next video for sure very soon as possible. And I hope you all like the content. If you found this content to be useful or if you like the content, please consider liking or subscribing to my channel or share your thoughts about the video on the comment section. Uh, see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.